So get ready to shell out more dough when you drive, thanks to the Biden green agenda. Some states now looking at charging by the distance that your vehicle travels rather than the gas that it guzzles. So don't, you know, don't try to buy a car that uh, has a better gas mileage because they just want to know how far you go. Uh-oh, your he- his head was cut off. Did you see that? <laughs> Grady Trimble, we only got like two thirds of him, but we're going to work on that. There we go. Uh, up from Fox <laughs> Business is live in Arlington, Virginia. There he is, all in one piece. Hi, Grady. Hey, Martha. So, yes, yeah, state gas tax revenues are plunging because vehicles are becoming more fuel efficient and more Americans are buying electric vehicles. And that's becoming a huge problem for states all across the country. In fact, one firm estimates that if states don't do anything, don't make any changes to the gas tax structure, their budget gaps could reach $67 billion by 2050 because of fuel efficiency improvements alone. That leads state governments with less money to pay for road improvement projects. So the states are getting creative and some critics would say invasive. States are turning to mileage taxes for electric vehicle owners who of course use roads just like all drivers do but don't contribute to their upkeep through gas taxes. Oregon, Virginia and Utah all have programs in place right now where EV owners can opt into having a mileage tracker placed in their cars so they're taxed for every mile that they drive. But some drivers, as you might understand, have some serious concerns about putting a government tracking device in their cars. So another approach states are taking is to tack registration and other fees on for hybrid and electric vehicle owners. Right now, almost three dozen states have these fees. Texas, the latest to introduce a yearly fee of $200 for EV drivers, but even environmental groups are pushing back back against these fees. The group called Environment Texas says this punitive fee will make it harder for Texans to afford these clean vehicles, which are so critical to reducing air pollution in Texas. And as if all of those taxes and fees are not enough, New York City is introducing a first-in-the-nation congestion pricing program. It just got federal approval, and it could charge drivers as much as $23 just to go into the downtown area during peak drivers, so uh, peak hours, I should say. So driving getting very, very expensive. That is so crazy, and they need to remove all of the restaurants that are in the street that add congestion to everything in Manhattan, but (laughs) I I won't go into that. (laughs) Pretty. Thank you very much.